Hello, this is Greg Bem, one of the Spokane Community College librarians. And in this brief video, I'm going to show you Copilot, your everyday AI companion created by Microsoft. This is the main Copilot screen. I am not signed in. It is no longer a requirement to sign in, though if you sign in, you can ask more questions and have longer conversations. There also is a Copilot Pro that you can pay to have access to. And there is an app for your mobile device. Let's start with uh, the interface. In the middle of the screen, we have a variety of prompts that allow you to get text and image generation and access the internet and so on. Beneath is the prompt bar alongside a new topic icon. Within the prompt bar, you can add an image. You can use your microphone. Let's ask it about the history of the sonnet. You will notice that similar to other Gen AI tools, it is very fast. One of the additional features that is noteworthy with Copilot is that in its responses, it provides in-text citations by default. So you will see that uh, each of the citable pieces of information is linked to, in some cases, one, in some cases, multiple sources. And you can easily access them by hovering over the text and clicking into those links. Note that at the bottom of the response, you will get access to all of the links that are, are being suggested and or cited. And it also says that if you continue, you need to accept the terms of use. I would recommend reading the terms of use, but for the sake of this video, I've accepted it since I've used this before and feel comfortable doing so. Note that underneath the response, you will get like, dislike, to inf influence how the system is developed. You can copy the text, you can export it, you can have it be read aloud, and note that you can get an additional three prompts for this conversation. There are several options for semi-automatically continuing the conversation, or you can enter your own. What is an example of a well-known sonnet? And so then I can continue the conversation and it will provide the response. Um, note that uh, it provides, in this case, the opening line of one of the sonnets by William Shakespeare. Um, it also links to the full version. And you may also ask it to put in the entirety of the sonnet and see what happens. I leave that to you. Because you're not signed in, you are not going to have a history of your chats. Um, so I do recommend signing in if you feel comfortable doing so, and then you will get access to more uh, features, including chat history. With that, I will leave you with the information I provided. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Spokane Community College librarians. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.